Don't be afraid of stepping into a role and don't be afraid for speaking up for yourself either. Try and quantify as much as you can how much of your work has actually had a direct impact to the top line or bottom line. And then use that to have those conversations and tell people, you know, hey, look, this is the value that I'm bringing to the table. Shout out your friends. They'll do it back to you. Shout yourself out. Make it a make it a part of the culture to be loud about women's successes and the things that um, women are accomplishing. Being there to help and support each other is so incredibly important. Even if they're not directly in your space, um, I'm constantly reaching out to the strong women that I have you know, around me, especially here at Zoom Info. Join groups where you could be that leader and, and say, hey, I've been in your role. I can help. This is how I handled it. Here are some podcasts and books I've listened to to better my skill set. A book that I recently started, um, I haven't finished, but it's of a business leader who I usually admire. Her name is Indra Nui. Her book is um, My Life in Full, Work, Family, and Our Future. I have followed her for a good bit of time now, and um, you know, she has an incredible story to tell. Um, a couple that I like are um, Still Processing, which is a New York Times podcast, um, has a phenomenal woman who um, talks with her colleague about, you know, current events and um, it has a fun spin on it. Another one I love is Call Your Girlfriend. When I first started in sales um, in the software industry, I started listening to Women in Sales by Lori Richardson. I also listened to Work in Progress by Sophia Bush. It's just a all around interesting podcast. She asks very insightful questions.